Okay, and welcome students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. And this here set of videos is are the theory videos for chapter 21 on stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Um, I'm going to be biased here in saying that this is probably my most favorite chapter in the book because I have a large interest in investing. And I think that the reason why they put this in the textbook is, you know, a lot of small businesses don't go out and buy stocks, okay? And, but it is part of the business world. Um, and when it comes to, you know, what do you do with your money when you're, you know, you, you've made some, um, you know, just like, you know, in the previous chapter, why do you think that there would be home life and auto insurance as part of, you know, a textbook on math for business and finance, you know? Well, it does lean more towards the personal uh, side of things. So I think that's why they, they put this into the textbook because they do involve business somewhat. And, uh, you know, whether you're taking, you know, a business curriculum or you're in, say, vet tech or in medical, you know, this would pertain to you. Um, you know, if you decide that you want to, you know, take some of that extra cash and have money make money. But anyway, so if you, um, if you're, you know, as always, if you don't understand something, you know, feel free to, to rewind, pause, rewind, watch the video again. And if you still don't, you know, get something, then, you know, feel free to telephone and speak with an instructor or contact us via email. Um, I'm also going to let you know that uh, I'm going to be giving some additional information in this, in these three videos that you won't find in the book because I just find that it uh, helps to give a, a more rounded understanding of the subjects, you know, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. And also, um, for those, especially in the business curriculums, uh, you will see this information again in future subjects. Um, and the information that I'll give you that isn't in here, you'll see it again. So you'll already have a heads up when you move into those other, um, into those other subjects like financial accounting and so on and so forth. Um, for people taking math, uh, medical and vet tech, just getting the extra information. Um, if you decide to, you know, purchase your own stocks, you know, um, or get involved in investing in some way, shape, or form, uh, this will give you a little bit more of a, a basic grounding. All right. By no means is it meant to be a uh, an investment course, and it's definitely not meant to. Uh, these videos are not meant to give any stock advice or, you know, bond, mutual fund, purchasing advice. It's just to give you some fundamental theory. All right. So with that said, let's go on to the, our first slide. And of course, as an overview, uh, let me get my pen here. Yeah. We already know that this chapter is going to be about, be about stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. And the question is, that I put on this slide is, is why are we looking at this well it all has to do with investing okay and when you're investing um money makes money okay so that, that's the whole purpose behind investing so you know when you get your paycheck any uh, leftover money that you have what do you do with it you know you're not going to let it i mean we went back if you you know earlier in the textbook you know there was we covered the concept of um, interest, you know, simple interest and compound interest. And, you know, compound interest, right, um, you know, we had said is the most powerful force in the world, okay? Um, and if you take that money, okay, and you invest it, okay, then you're going, you know, and you get a return on your investment where you get a interest on it, um, you're able, if you leave that in, then you'll have interest on interest, right? And if you have interest on interest, you're able to grow your wealth, okay? And you're having your money make your money. And sure, you're just watching it, you know, to make the correct decisions when to buy and sell or whatever have you. But a lot of people have no ideas to, you know, what to do with that extra money. I mean, sure, it, you know, it makes sense to, you know, have some cash, but beyond that, what are you going to do with it? Like, for example, I was speaking with a student and they're like, well, I can't buy gold because gold is, you know, it's too expensive for me. 
and that's fine. You know, alternative investment is like silver, where silver is a lot cheaper. However, you know, it's just a piece of metal that's just sitting there. You're not getting interest on interest. And you're certainly not getting interest on interest in a savings account, right? I mean, what kind of interest rate are you getting in a savings account right now? You know, very little. And I mean, sure, that does go in cycles. I mean, at one point in time back in the 80s, interest rates were 17%, okay? But today they're almost 0%, all right? So as an aggregate over time, um, it's about 8%. But we're talking about a span of, say, 75 years. Well, you're not in that span of 75 years. You're in a span, you know, a small portion right now. So how do you do this? You need to find alternative investments in order to have money make money. And that's how people grow wealth. You know, you could say, well, I can put it into real estate. You know, you can go there. I mean, not saying there's, you know, different likes for different Ikes um, and there's different alternatives but I'm just pointing this out that you know the reason for this chapter is you know alternative investments and to give you uh, you know in order in order to be able to have your money make money right so um, with that said I'm going to stop now um, and you know just let you know that uh, the next video, will, you know, I'll just start out with stocks. Now, I don't know how many videos this is going to take. Probably at least another three because I'll talk about stocks, you know, and then make a video for bonds and make a video for mutual funds. Um, but however many videos I take for each one, I, you know, I don't know. So I know there's going to be at least three more videos. All right. So that's the idea behind, uh, you know, this theory, this, this set of videos and why I'm, I'm going to present the additional information that you're not going to find in the book because it will give you a little bit better grounding and will point you in a direction to go if you have an interest in doing this or in, in pursuing this avenue as far as investing is concerned. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.